In this video we're going to explore how to use Lego again but we're going to explore the concept of symmetry. Lego is a really good resource for creating symmetrical patterns and really getting children to visualise those elements of symmetry right in front of them and it's a really nice practical fun activity. It can be as challenging or as easy as you'd like to make it. So again based base it on your child's ability. So Aaron, remember we talked about when something is symmetrical and we chop it in half, yeah. what happens? What does it have to look like on the other side? The same. The same. So actually just readdressing that idea of symmetry with your child. So if we chop something in half, it will look exactly the same on both sides. And if it does, then we say it's symmetrical or it's a symmetrical pattern or it's a symmetrical shape. Can you think of any shapes that might be symmetrical? A shape that when we chopped it in half, it would look exactly the same. A rectangle. Good boy, well done. It would. If we cut a rectangle in half, it would look exactly the same on both sides, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, so I've started with a very basic pattern on here. And it is just all one colour because I don't want to um, confuse just yet. So we're going to start with a basic one colour pattern. I've split my Lego board in half so he can clearly see where our line of symmetry is. And then he is going to rebuild the other part or the other half of the symmetrical pattern. Okay, so Aaron, I'm going to ask you to use your Lego on this side and to build me the other half of this symmetrical pattern. Do you think you can do that? So this is your line of symmetry. This is the line that's going to split it in half, okay? So what colour are you going to get? White. Why are you getting white? It's the same pattern. Good, okay. So as I say, I focus just solely on um, using just one colour at the minute because you don't want to make it too confusing um, for your child and just constantly readdressing the idea of symmetry. And again, as I say, make it as difficult or as easy as you like to start off with. Okay. Oh, very good. Did you look carefully where that needed to go? Yeah. Yeah, this is really important, doesn't I'm it? I'm looking at that. Yes. Uh, so on the other, the other book is supposed to be the same. Mm -hmm. There. Okay, does that look exactly the same? Yeah. Excellent, well done. So as you can see, he's managed to do that quite easily and he's really thought sensibly about positioning and size and colour. So now this time, it's going to be a wee bit more challenging, okay, Aaron? Um, I knew that Aaron would probably be able to visualise this one quite easily, so I have prepared another slightly more difficult one just so that you can see how you can challenge your child a bit more. Now this one, the positioning is quite a bit different and also I have mixed and matched the colours in there. So they have to, the children who are doing this really have to think not only just about symmetrical patterns, but also about colours and about spacing as well. So it is um, a little bit more challenging. So this time, Aaron, you're going to have to really, really think carefully about this one, mm -hmm. okay? Because you've got different colours in here and you need to make it the same pattern, but using the same colours as well, okay? So do you think you can do that? Mm -hmm. So you're starting with blue. What would happen if I stuck that one up there? Would that be symmetrical then? No. Why not? Be because the pattern will be the same. Mm. No, the yellow. Look the same. Mm. How did you know that one had to go there? Because... I needed a space. Oh, and how much space did you need? Uh, of eight, an eight dot space. An eight dot Lego space. So again, just asking your child what they're doing as they're going along. I'm really encouraging that mathematical language being used all the time. What colour are we going to get now? How many across do you need to go with your red ones? The same as the blue. Yeah. And black. Mm. I can't get this black. Do you like some help? Yes, please. Okay, there we go. Thank you. I need another black. Have we got another one in there? Oh dear, so what could we do? What could we do? So again, giving your child that little element of challenge and actually setting a wee problem in front of them. How could we, if we don't have another black, 
what could we do to make this a symmetrical pattern? What do you think? Oh, take this back off. We could. Good idea. So actually get setting your child a little bit of problem solving as well and getting them to think a wee bit outside the box. Okay, is it now symmetrical? Yeah. If we chop it in half, does it look exactly the same on both sides? Yeah. Excellent. Well done. Doesn't it look pretty? It looks very pretty. And then we can then you can actually use your Lego to explore symmetrical shapes as well. So this is a this resource is a really good resource because it can actually give you the opportunity to try lots of different patterns, lots of different shapes, lots of different combinations. The opportunities are endless with it and actually it's really good fun and you can make it as challenging or as less challenging as you like. Music